So today's road trip around Cape Town turned out to be a little bit more unexpected than we had anticipated. It started out looking a little bit like this. <laughs> Walking up to this watchtower is so... We're in Africa. Then turned into some penguin time. Hi there. Hi. And then what we meant to do turned into this. Good morning and welcome to our second full day here in Cape Town and today we thought we'd see some fun wildlife which hopefully consists of hippos, penguins and ending up at supposedly the most <laughs> southern point of Africa. And if you're new here we are Nick and Sam Simpson and this is Sims on the Go. Three months ago we quit our jobs to travel the world and I think we're currently on country 12 or something. So we hope that you join us on this journey with us by subscribing below and let's go see some hippos. So today we're starting at a place called the False Bay Reserve. And I read that they have hippos here, reptiles, tons of bird species and plant species, but we did see at the gate that he said that they just released all the reptiles back into the wildlife, which is great. And they haven't seen any hippos today, but you never know. We could see them, we could be swimming with them, you just never know. This is a really cool reserve and we had no idea it existed until a couple of days ago. Cape Town is such a major city and yet there are mountains to climb, beaches to hang out at, wildlife reserves all over within 25 minutes each way. It just totally blows my mind. Cool as that was. We didn't see any hippos, but we did see a lot of birds. So we're gonna get going. It's about a 45 minute drive to the next destination, which is the penguin. There she is, Crystal, Crystal. and all her flesh. <laughs> She's a 2017 Ford something. Yeah, um, Figo. Figo. She's a 2007, I actually have no clue. We have officially made it to Boulder Penguin Beach where you can actually get right up close to an indigenous penguin species that has been around here for apparently hundreds of millions of years. Apparently it's not the most secretive thing. I'm not sure if this is free or not, but penguins, I'm down. Two standard, please. Two standard. Three twenty, please. Thank you. So that was kind of an unexpected cut. 10 USD per person, which I guess is not terrible if you're here on vacation, but that kind of hit our budget for the day of $75. So I guess we're making dinner at home tonight. And also there were a lot of signs that said no drone zone. So unfortunately, I can't get the drone in the air to get a cool shot. You see one and they're so cute. Look at, look at, look at. ones with like the black penguins which are the ones that you really think about when you think about penguins but I also see brown ones too so I'm wondering if maybe the brown ones are the male penguins and the black ones are the female because they're very clearly sitting on their eggs so I don't know if you know let us know below because I know nothing about penguins <laughs> doing a little bit more research, I read that there were 2,200 penguins left 
in this little beach. And they used to be called the jackass penguins because they make calling sounds that sound very similar to a donkey. But then they realized that there were many other different types of penguins that made very similar calls. So instead of saying that they were jackass penguins, they then changed the name to African penguins. That is a crazy sound. It really does sound like a donkey. Did you see penguins you came to Cape Town? <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> I can hold my breath for two and a half minutes too. You think that's true or false? So I told them that the penguins can hold their breath for two and a half minutes. Did you know I can hold my breath for two and a half minutes? That's a lie. It is not a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> no. Prove it. There's an ocean right there. Actually, it's not the ocean. It's called the... I forgot the name of it, but it's actually kind of a funny Very name. helpful. We'll put that right here. Very helpful. She can't hold her breath yes, for two I and a half can. minutes. Yes, I can. Just like the penguins. It. Isn't that kind of interesting though? Two and a half is. minutes that the penguins can hold their breath. They can't fly either. I didn't even know they were African penguins, so this whole thing is just... <laughs> I know, mind-blowing. Crazy to me. <laughs> I don't know if it's a rock rabbit or something, I don't know. There you go. Oh, awesome. What is it? Where are you, little guy? Oh. <laughs> also, something I've been waiting to see is baboons. When we were driving down this the mountain, there was a sign that said baboons with exclamation mark. I don't know if that means they just like come out of the woods and run across the road, but I want to see one. If you don't know what a baboon is, it's Rafiki from Lion King. I, I wanna... told him that. He didn't even know what that was until about 30 minutes ago. She and I e told him it was Rafiki from Lion King. She couldn't even just give it to me. <laughs> that was really fun. It was worth the money. We couldn't get ice cream because we spent all of our money there. But totally worth it. Totally worth it. And now we're trying to see if we can go to apparently the most southern point in Africa. Although we keep looking at the map and it really doesn't look like the southern, most southern point, but everyone keeps saying it, so let's head to Cape Point. <laughs> What's a baboon, babe? Do you have a good example of a baboon? Rafiki. <laughs> baboon crossing! Baboon crossing! <laughs> you got it! You said you wanted to see them! Look Rafiki. at them! Rafiki! <laughs> what if we saw baboons? What? Penguins and baboons in the same day? The only thing that would have made it better is if there were hippos at that reserve like we had read there were. But that was so cool. You like it? I'm satisfied now. We can just go home. That's all <laughs> you really wanted to see a baboon. saw the price to get in per person was 320 Rand which is about 20 USD per person unfortunately it's just too much out of our budget to do that so because we can't go to Cape Point we're trying to just figure out what to do and we're gonna take a different route home because maybe there will be something really epic that we see on our way back that doesn't cost a lot of money like this ostrich farm <laughs> See, it's when you have no agenda is when the best things happen. Right, babe? I agree. We saw baboons. More baboons! Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Look at those baboons. Oh my gosh, they're massive. Oh, they're so scary. They're massive. Wow! Wow! He did not look happy that we were slowing down. So I was like, Nick, go, 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 drive, drive. <laughs> But they're so cool and they're so big. We saw more baboons. That was like a whole family with the cousins and everything. Whoa! So we just stopped off at like a little beach area to see if we can get out. And it was completely packed so we decided to keep going. But as we're driving back into the town, there were like probably 10 or 20 surfers going out into this. They're crazy. I mean, first off, you can't even see. I know the waves are massive, but you literally, I don't know if you can see these waves, 
Imagine being out there in that mist. Dangerous. This place that we're in, that we're driving through, is called Misty Cliffs. And it really feels like we're in a sci-fi movie. You can see the water and you can see the rocks, but there's a layer of fog on it. It's so creepy. I'm a little bit nervous driving on it, but Nick's gonna get us through. I, I believe in him. We just stopped off at this really awesome beach and there's not that many people here. The town I can't pronounce, we'll put it right here. But the beach is called Long Beach, it's got white sand, waves are massive, the fog went away, there's surfers everywhere. Check this out. Legs are still burning from yesterday's video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment if there's something that we missed, because tomorrow we go wine tasting. I'm so excited! But thanks for joining us today, even though this road trip took <laughs> some different turns. Get it? See what I did oh, there? Oh, good one. See what I did there? Good one. And we'll see you on the go. Penguin. <clears throat> <laughs> That was rough, and I didn't even hear it. <laughs> the pun was supposed to be there. Okay, right, I'm gonna try, try it again. again. Okay, take two. Did you see penguins? Oh, I can't even do it. Hold on. Did you see penguins you came to Cape Town? It's feeling pretty surreal that we're here right now, but it just hit me because we just saw wild. Uh, what are the that means? We have officially made it to, what's it called again? Breaker Beach? Boulder. Boulder. Penguin. And they used to be called, I'm sorry, I'm really sweaty. There's She's hangry. <laughs> She's real Stop. hangry. Look at that, look at that face. <laughs> real? Real? You're driving me crazy. We've been in the car for way too long today. The sand's waving at me to come back. My boss told me to reel it in. Literally, get it? See what I did there? Reel it in, because we're at the ocean, and like fishing. and. They connected in my head. I don't know if you got that, but it somehow connected in my head to fishing and ocean. So if you got that, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, smash it, yo. Yeah.